Hello dear students, this is the part 3 lecture series of gene mutations and in, in this lecture we will be discussing induced mutations and physical mutagens. So what are induced mutations? They are caused due to certain agents which are called mutagens and these mutagens can be physical or chemical agent. So what are physical mutagens? These can be ionizing radiations or non-ionizing radiations or it can be temperature. And what are chemical mutagens? These are chemicals which causes mutations. So some examples are mustard gas, nitrogen mustard, nitrous acid, formaldehyde, ethyl methane sulfo sulfonate which is called EMS, ethyl ethane sulfonate which is called EES, 5-bromouracil, ethidium bromide etc. So physical mutagens, they cause more changes in gene or at gene level and fewer at chromosomal level. So more genic or point mutations happens because of physical muta mutagens, whereas chemical mutagens, they cause more changes at chromosomal level and they uh, cause more syndromes. Because of this, more syndromes happens and they cause fewer uh, mutations at gene level. So what are physical mutagens? It has been found that all forms of energy that disrupt the chemical nature of chromosomes like UV, light, X-rays, gamma rays, beta rays, cosmic rays, they can induce mutation in almost all organisms and they are called physical mutagens. So Mueller was the first uh, who said that frequency of mutations is more in Drosophila when it is exposed to X-rays than without such treatment. And Stadler confirmed this in barley, animals, plants and microorganisms. Now, the frequency of mutation is directly proportional to the amount of X-rays expressed in Rangatan units and any exposure to radiation is likely to produce its uh, share of mutations. So uh, they said that there can be no safe dose for x-rays. So irrespective of the amount or uh, the time duration, the total number of Roengerton units when the person is exposed to the total number of Roengerton units, it is sufficient mm -hmm. enough to induce mutations. So here you can see in this graph that on x axis there are x-ray dose in terms of uh, Roengerton and on uh, y-axis you can see that there is percent x-linked recessive mutation and you can see that there is a exponential graph which indicates that as the number of doses increases the number of mutations uh, increases. So this is a graph uh, this is from Klug and Cummings so you can see that plot of percentage of X-linked recessive mutations induced by increasing doses of X-rays. Uh, and this is showing the exponential rate so, of X-ray uh, uh, Physical mutagens, mutations. we are discussing the first physical mutagen, which is your non-ionizing radiations. So out of all the non-ionizing radiations, uh, only UV radiation causes mutations and others do not cause it. UV light causes mutations by increasing the chemical energy of certain molecules such as pyrimidine in DNA and one effect of UV radiation on DNA is formation of abnormal chemical bonds between adjacent pyrimidine molecules in the same strand of uh, double helix. So this bonding is induced mostly between adjacent thiamines. So here uh, and UV light, uh, UV light causes thiamine dimers. The UV uh, thiamine dimers are represented like this TT and then here uh, in between this TT there is this sign. So the pyrimidines not only thiamine dimers but it can cause other pyrimidine dimers also like CC, CT, TC. Pyrimidine dimers are also produced by UV radiation but they are found in much lower amounts compared to the thiamine dimers. That is why we talk about thiamine dimers when we cause, uh, when we discuss uh, mutation caused by UV radiations. 
so here you can see that there are two this is a strand of dna and here there are uh, adjacent thymers so this these thymers can uh, form a bond between them and then this is called thymine dimer this unusual pairing produces a bulge in dna which you can see here like this and uh, disrupts the normal pairing of T base with corresponding A base on the opposite side. So you can see here in this picture that, that these T T bases have made a bond and because of this, this bulge has happened and this is called thiamine dimer in the presence of UV light and replication cannot proceed uh, beyond this lesion. So the cell will die if enough py pyrimidine dimers remain unrepaired. So this was about UV light exposure and it causes thymine dimers. Now, because of this thymine dimer, uh, there is a disease which is called uh, zero derma pigmentosum. This happens and it is caused due to homozygosity for a recessive mutation in a repair gene. Usually, these thymine dimers are repaired by the internal mechanism of the cell but if it remains unrepaired then it can cause zero derma pigmentosum and what is zero derma pigmentosum it is caused due to homozygosity for a recessive mutation in a repair gene individuals with this lethal disease are photosensitive and portions of their skin have been exposed to light show intense pigmentation freckling and warty growths which are like tumorous growths that can become malignant the affected areas are deficient in excise repair of damage caused by ultraviolet light or chemical treatment and these individuals are unable to repair re radiation damage done to dna because of uv light and they often die as a result of malignancies or tumors arising from damage so these two pictures they are showing the uh, symptoms of zero derma pigmentosum uh, here you can see the child uh, who is suffering from zero derma pigmentosum and you can see um, uh, the uh, warty or the tumor like growths as well as the freckling of skin as well as you can see that this girl uh, also has freckling of skin so when zero derma pigmentosum happens these are the symptoms which are shown on the skin or the face so i hope you have understood physical mutagens so you will study this from the books of genetics and your concepts will be clear we will